So you have your own project which runs on GitHub and you also have a workflow which you run with uh, GitHub Actions. Now, so far sounds amazing, but then you use it together with JFrog, which also amazing, but there is one problem. At this point, you have your token manually saved on GitHub. Now, try to imagine it. Your token might get revoked, someone else might delete it by mistake, maybe it was compromised and now someone have it on his hand. I mean, sounds risky. And we have a solution to that. JFrog and GitHub have now OIDC integration, which basically within few steps, you can just integrate and have a dynamically generated token upon your own restrictions, whether it should have only publish access or only fetch access, you choose. You can set a token for specific user, group or an admin token. Let's take a quick demo and see how can we integrate it easily. Okay, so first we'll go under the administration We'll go directly to platform management and manage integration. Then we will click on the right button on new integration and choose the open ID. After then we will type in a provider name. It can be whatever we like. In this example, it's GitHub JFrog. I will choose provider type as GitHub, then put some description inside and I can select an audience. Audience field is optional, but it is another layer of verification to verify that the correct audience receive a token. So now we can click the show snippet and we'll see the snippet that afterwards will help us integrate this OIDC with our workflow. Now let's save the integration and create our first identity mapping. But before I edit, it's important to know that you can create as much identity mappings object as you need. And you can set up a priority to each one of them. By that, you get the flexibility to grant the most relevant token upon the details GitHub OIDC provider provided within the claim JSON. You probably ask what is claim JSON? Well, this is a trust object uh, sent by GitHub to JFrog in order to map back a token with the permissions. You can find the link in the description for GitHub documentation for more information. Now in the claim JSON, for example, you can see that I'm using a key named workflow with the value of my workflow. I mean, this is the exact value of my workflow name. And if I will change my workflow name, for example, the token will not be granted. And that's why it's important to verify all details that eventually will be matched. Uh, and we, we must make sure that they are all correct. So in case even one of the keys value, maybe even a letter or an extra space is not matching what you provided, the token grant will fail. Now let's save our identity mapping with the specific token that I choose. I will set some uh, token expiration time and let's copy this snippet so we will use it on our workflow file. Now in my workflow file, I added the new setup JFrog CLI OIDC and I will now remove the older JFrog CLI integration. Now the last thing we need to do is to add a permission so the workflow will be able to generate an ID token and with that get the access token from JFrog. Now let's save our workflow. We will commit the change. And now let's check our action. We can see that it's running. It's starting the process, getting the access token successfully and start doing the operation it needs with no any token that save on our GitHub side. Okay, so now that we know that we don't really need our token to be stored on GitHub and we can take advantage on the OIDC integration, we can just remove it. So let's start by removing it, going to settings, then going under secrets and variables, actions, and just look under the repository secrets and delete the access token. So 
So after we've seen how easy it is to integrate JFrog and GitHub thanks to OIDC, I really encourage you to go and try it yourself. If you want to read more information about our OIDC integration, you can find it in our blog. This is Jonathan. Peace out.